In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create an array. You can declare an array by specifying the data type followed by a set of empty square brackets and then the name of the array. And the array must be explicitly allocated with the new operator as shown in this example in the middle of the screen where it says my array is assigned to new the data type again and inside the square brackets you specify the number of elements. The word new is what allocates space and memory to store the array on the Java heap and the number inside the brackets it, again is the size of the array and once you set the size of the array you can't update it later on in your code it's a fixed size and you can initialize elements of an array in several different ways and let's see some examples on how you can do that. In the class array demo, I'm going to create several arrays. And let's first create an array of integers by saying int empty square brackets array1. And to create the array, I'll say array1 and assign it to new int square bracket 3. 3 is the size of the array. Once you specify the size, you can't change it later. That's a fixed size. So now let's populate the array by initializing the array elements array1 and that is the name of my array and to set the first element and remember in Java you start counting at 0 so the first element is actually 0 and we're gonna assign that to 5 and then array1 at index 1 could assign that to 10 and array1 at index 2 which is the last element of the array because if the size is 3 the indexes start at 0 and they go up to 1 less than the size so the last index will be size minus 1 which is 2 we'll make this 15 we can treat any of these array elements as any integer variable for example I can print out system.out.println any array element that I want array 1 at index 1 that will give me 10 when I run the program because array 1 is assigned to 10 and if I change this to array 0 you'll see that 5 will print out but if I did an array 1 at index 0 plus array 1 at index 2 that should give me the sum of in array index 0 which is 5 and the sum of the element at array index 2 which is 15 and it should print out 20 Another way to create an array is just to do it all in a single line of code such as this. Let's make an array of doubles and I'll call this array2 and I'm going to assign it to new double and let's make this size 4. So the indexes are going to be 0, 1, 2, and 3. So let's set some data for the array. I'll make array2 at index 0 to be at $1.50 array 2 at index 1 will make that 50 cents array 2 at index 1 can make this 4.99 and array 2 at index 3 the last index 10.76 and just like with the integer array I can print out any element I want of the double array by just simply sticking that in a system that out that print line statement right and array 2 at index 2 that will give you the 499 and array 2 at index 3 will give you 1076 a third way to create and initialize the elements of the array can is to do it all in one line using the curly braces and let me show you how to do that by creating an array of strings string square bracket call it names and let's set this to curly braces and then we just start populating it with names Joe Jack and Mary close the curly brace and end it with a semicolon and not only did I create an array of strings called names I have all the elements of the array already initialized and I could see that by printing out any array element in the names array names at index 0 that should give me Joe index 1 should give me Jack 
and two should give me Mary. So that is how you basically create and initialize arrays. Uh, it's a little bit easier to initialize an array using a looping structure by iterating through the array, and we'll learn that in the next video. So thanks for watching.